Simpson's one third rule. Here we have to compute the definite integral a to b f of x dx, which can be written as integral over x naught to x in f of x dx, and we are given a tabular values of the integrand f of x, y x y equal to f of x. So when x takes the value x naught, its corresponding y value is y naught. When x takes the value x one, its corresponding y value is y one, etc. It goes up to x n and y n. Simpson's one third rule is given by integral over x naught to x n f of x dx is equal to h by three into y naught plus y n plus four into y one plus y three plus etc. plus two into y two plus y four plus etc. Which can be written as h by three into sum of the first and last ordinates. First ordinate is y naught, and the last ordinate is y n. Plus four times sum of the odd ordinates. Plus two times sum of the even ordinates. Here h is equal to b minus a by n, where b denotes the upper limit. A denotes the lower limit, n denotes the number of intervals, and h denotes the width. This is called Newton-Cotes quadrature formula, and it is a general quadrature formula. By substituting n is equal to two in this formula and neglecting third and higher order differences we get simpson's one third rule note that this rule requires the division of the whole interval into an even number of sub intervals of width h This rule is also called a closed formula. In this rule, y equal to f of x is a polynomial of second order, and error in this rule is of order h power four.